think for me, for my experience, this is very different because of COVID. I think because it's it's not your normal Olympics. I mean, it is the Olympics, but it's not your normal Olympic because on our free day like today, we would be going to like other games, supporting other Malaysian, and you know, watching other games. So it's it's very different that we can't go to other events, but. Experience-wise, it's always great, you know, coming for the Olympic because the best of the best athletes are around here, and you don't get to see that very often from the golfer's point of view. So I think it, it's been, it's been an unbelievable experience. Just that obviously now, it's hard to say. It's hard to think that five years has gone by since Rio. It really has. Time has really flown by, and obviously, I've matured up as a player. I've matured up as a person. You know, I've, I've gained a lot of experience. So there's a lot of Things going well there. It's just that, you know, obviously the golf course, everything is new. We haven't played it before, but you know, we had a few practice rounds and it's been great. Course is in really, really good shape. You know, it's been. I just wish that my game was in a better place. You know, I, I have been struggling the whole year. I mean, everybody knows that. You know, I've been struggling the whole year. You know, I haven't been able to come home. I haven't been able to do anything. You know, I've just been on the road non-stop for three months already and I think I won't be able to come back to the end of the year you know so it, it's it's been it's been a little, little bit hard but you know I'm always working hard and trying to improve and there were really good signs towards last few weeks and you know constantly it's getting tighter and tighter and like I said you know I I really hope that it clicks in Rio uh, sorry in Rio in Tokyo I really hope it clicks this week because it's a week I really want to do well. Also, I mean, everybody does, you know. But at the same time, I can't put too much pressure on myself because the best of the best is here, and the more you push, the worse it gets. So you just got to take it as I wouldn't say as easy as possible, but you got to be as calm as possible. Well, to me, it's a little bit different from. Um, la, eh, from Rio because sorry, it's really different from a normal golf event because you don't have a cut, right? It's only sixty players, and you're playing all four days. And you know, given that from the village to the golf course is an hour and a half, it's a long way uh, to drive every day. So it's like three hours in a car, just going back and forth. So I think conserving my energy as much as I can, and at the same time being able to be um, physically and mentally ready, I think that's more important. Yeah. You know, I think being being prepared that way is more important. Not trying to tire my tire myself out. You know, because I mean I only arrived Saturday and uh, play nine holes Sunday, nine holes Monday. And then today because of the weather, they said there was a lot of rain and all that. So I'm I think I'm taking a day off. Which is also good because then I'm not you know you're not stressing everything out. Yeah it's Olympic but you gotta your mind's gotta be at a really nice calm state. So I, I'm just, I'm just really taking it a lot easier than I was in Rio. You know, I'm trying, I'm trying to pace myself better. I'm not trying to go out there and just practice every day, 18 holes, 18 holes, you know, range 18 holes. It's just gonna tire me out. So I'm, I'm pacing myself a lot better this year. Oh, I think it, it does. It definitely does because you know you always want to bring home a medal no matter what what sport you're in and what country you're from but i mean as a country you know and, and having that honor to represent in the olympics that's i mean not many not many people has that have that opportunity so when you have it you know you want to do your best that you can and that's what i always do you know whether, whether it's the olympics whether it's my normal european pro event whether it's a pgm event back home i always want to do the best i can you know, that's, that always has remained constant for me. And, you know, given that my game hasn't been the way I want it to be, it's trending in the right direction. I just hope that it clicks a lot faster and hopefully, and it's been showing signs. I just hope that it clicks, you know, one of the biggest weeks of uh, the year for me. I think my parents would be happier than me. 
<laughs> I think to be more, no, wouldn't be happier, but to be more excited. Because I mean, honestly, from a parent's point of view, having two sons competing the Olympic on the same team, from the same country, I mean, it really doesn't get any better than that. And I, and it would be a dream for me because you know having my little brother as a pro, both competing for the country, it just as a brother and you know from a family standpoint, it's I I I really can't ask for much more. And it'd be even better if who knows you know if we both click on that week and we both can bring home something, that will be even better. You know that 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 is something I always dream about. And not just the Olympics, but you know the World Cup, winning as as brothers, and from Malaysia also, obviously. That was I think that is something really, really big that we could do. It's just that you know we just gotta keep working towards it. it gives us a chance. Definitely, I, I've been asked a lot of that. <laughs> in the last few weeks, you know, people from European, uh, from my buddies also, and from home, friends, family, I definitely will. I have not thought about it yet. I mean, it is very tempting to get a nice sleeve, but I think uh, <laughs> it's gonna hurt. Like, uh, <laughs> it's gonna hurt a lot, <laughs> and I don't know if it's a good image um, for younger, for younger generations and younger kids. But um, no, I'm definitely thinking of doing one. I just haven't thought about it. I'm trying to go to somewhere where it's the least pain I can get on my body. But you know, it's I really want to get in my left arm this time. But at the same time, if it's not synchronized and it's not leveled out perfectly, I'm gonna look like a goofball. So I'm gonna try somewhere else to find to put it maybe on the bicep or something. So every day, well, in the last few days, we have uh, been leaving about eight, nine, eight, eight, nine, nine thirty to the golf course. It takes like an hour and a half, and I haven't played eighteen holes. I've been, like I said, I've been always trying to conserve a little bit of energy. So I have, I've always had a good range session, a good short game session, and then go play nine holes. So that has always been the routine, and then you know, obviously. When we come back, you know, I'm a little bit exhausted because of my body clock is still a little bit on the UK time zone. So I'm trying to get out in the sun as much as possible so that I can adjust to the to the time zone. Try to sleep and make sure I get you know seven eight hours of sleep a night so that I recover faster. So that has been the routine, and you know, obviously eating a lot because Japanese food is amazing here. It's been unbelievable. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, dinner. <laughs> Sorry to say, but the but the UK food is terrible. Anything Japanese, anything related to Japanese, I, I've been crushing it. I have been crushing it. I mean, not just one round. I've been going two, three rounds. I've just been killing it, and I've been enjoying it. You know, it's been a while since I actually had food that is authentic and proper. It's a very, it's a course which is uh, full of management. It's not really a bombers course. It's not really um, something where you can really be aggressive on. You have to actually respect the course a lot. You have to respect the course because you have to play into certain positions on the fairway, on the greens. You know, um, you just have to be smart around this course. And you know that you know I'm actually going to pull out the driver out this week. The driver's not going to be in the bag. So there's going to be a lot of irons, a lot of three woods, and I have a, this thing called a mini driver. So it's like a strong three wood, like a two wood. So that's going to go in the bag, and I'm going to take the driver out. And um, that's that's purely because of strategy, and I and I and I'm trying to just keep it in play and uh, give myself chances on uh, from the fairway because in the rough, it's it's not to say impossible. Of course, it's possible. Everything is possible in golf, but you want the best chance there. Um, and the easiest possible way for you to make birdies, and that is keeping it on the fairway. And this course is not long at all. It's just that you have to keep it on the fairway, and you have to be on the greens because you know it's it's going to be a big, big 
big help this week. So I think for me, strategy wise, I'm going to be a bit more on the conservative side and, you know, use my wedges and irons as a, as a strength.